Hi guys, Modern Muffin here. How are you doing? Welcome to another edition of Battle Maps Reviews. Today we're looking at Mangrove Isle by Mr. Rogers. Mangrove Isle is a medium sized map on the PlayStation 3 and it is validated for all game modes. It's quite an unusual map. Uh, half of it takes place within a kind of secret -y cave of some kind of evil Mr. Boss type character uh, inside a mountain and half of it is in a native village. Both sections of the map do have enough detail and thought given into the layout to satisfy that all important immersion factor. I like areas like this, I like areas inside the buildings where people do take the time to play some objects, you know, and kind of breathe a bit of life into it. Things like the bar stools being there, not all in a nice neat little row, but just kind of looking like they've been used. Now one thing we'll see plenty of on this map that I'm not too keen on is the explosive barrels. Uh, <laughs> I think that they don't mix in well visually. This isn't a fault of the map making here, so it's a fault of UV designers, I guess. And one other problem that I kind of have with gameplay here is these exits. The exits and entrances into the caves. Now, for one, I think they look ugly. Again, that's not the fault of the creators using the tools that have been given, but I do think they look a bit ugly. And I also think that both these tunnels are kind of going to be a, a, a sniper's haven. Um, having said that though, if you do manage to get your team into the other team's area, the snipers aren't going to be having much fun there. So yeah, I don't know how that bit of it will actually work. I guess it depends on the team. But yeah, you see what I mean about these barrels? They just kind of like... Uh, I think they stand out too much visually. And apart from that, I often see them in maps where they're put there for the sake of having an explodable item. Uh, now in Far Cry 2, a lot of you will know, we had a, quite a wide range of objects that were affected by physics. Like, you see what I mean? We just passed that barrel on that rooftop. Now, in real life, somebody would have to actually pick that barrel up and go and put it there. The same as the one that I just passed. And I do think that those sort of things actually break the immersion in maps. Feel free to say so if you disagree, guys. You know, um, I'm not always right. Except I am. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think often you'll get a barrel that just seems to have been put there. And if this was some kind of real world setting, somebody would have to physically lift those barrels and put them in those places. And if those places don't make sense, for me personally, it breaks the immersion factor. Now I like this, you know, this, this walkway that we've got going on here. And again, the rooms do have a reasonable amount of detail. They're not empty. Some are more detailed than others. But you know, the, the point is that they're not just these sort of empty houses. And I do see a lot of maps that seem to be full of empty rooms, empty houses and all that sort of thing. Um, and again, for, for me, those sort of things do break the immersion factor. Now, as far as beauty goes, um, yeah, no, maybe. It's a nice looking map. It's, it's not stunning visually, but there has been some thought put into the layout. Um, like I said, there's, there's been plenty of thought put into the details. There's been plenty of thought put into the gameplay, and I do think this will be a good map to play. But one thing I would say is get rid of those barrels, and maybe put some more cover points in if people are going to take the risk of going down those tunnels. You know, I, I think the way it stands in the minute is just too risky. Anyway guys, overall, I think this will be a really fun map to play, so do check it out. It's on the PlayStation 3, Mangrove Isle. This is Muppet Out. Take it easy. Bye!